What is going on you guys? It's me Tim back here with another Supreme Droplets video and unfortunately I only have my phone, my camera's dead and I'm waiting for batteries to charge but I'm running out of time so we're just going to go with the phone. This is week, I want to say three, maybe four? I think it's three. Week four. Oh, I was off. But uh, we have headline, we have the Ramalzi Supreme collaboration. I think overall the collab was pretty good. Um... I like most of the stuff. I don't really care for this first t-shirt, which we'll just jump into right now. Um, I'm not really sure what what this is. I've never seen, I don't know the name of this graphic, but definitely is interesting. And I cannot see myself wearing it, so I'm not kind of buying it. But it is a very cool t-shirt. I personally think the black and the white are going to do the best. Maybe even the pink, because for some reason, everybody likes the pink colorways this year and last year, so... I'm not sure how resale is going to do, whereas this is an online drop, and I'm not sure how crowded the website is going to be this week because of the fact that it's an online drop. But next we have the small box logo long sleeves. These are kind of a classic item. Everyone, these, these drop just about every season. So uh, if you don't have one, I, I mean, if you want to spend the extra money to pick them up, pick them up, then... Uh, yeah, go for it. You're looking at about $68 retail. But, yeah, not nothing crazy. Nothing to, you know, stress about not getting. Um, next, we have from LZ Supreme Tag T. So, this says Supreme right on the front. I think this one's way better than the first T. Um, what are you people... Why is this website doing this? This is cool. I do enjoy it. I like this T a lot. I... Not sure if I'm going to get it, but if I personally were to get it, I would get it in the blue or the green. Just to switch up the color vibe, because right now my color palette is uh, all black. So, I think I guess swatch color would not hurt me. But next we have the mesh hooded long sleeve baseball jersey. This is an interesting piece. I have not seen anything like this before. I think this is pretty cool. Um... I'd like to know if there's something on the back. I personally don't know. I think this is cool. It's probably going to be like $148, so that's going to be expensive. $138, so with shipping and tax, it'll probably be around $150, $160, depending on where you are. So, yeah, it kind of sucks, but that's just what it is. Um... I think it's cool. I think the black one and the white one are definitely better than the orange, but that's just my opinion. Let me know in the comments which you, which one you guys like better. Um, next we have the chest protector. I uh, I personally, who who's, who's gonna buy a chest protector? I understand it's collectible. I understand it's cool, like a unique item, but who needs to catch your chest protector? I mean, hey, if you're gonna go for it. I'd probably go for red, just because red's a staple of Supreme. It's a Supreme red. I, you know, it's just it's more likely to sell or resell. Next, we have the Wide Well Corduroy Camp Cap. Okay, you get, like someone needs to inform me why we're curving brims all of a sudden. Like, why are all of these brims curved? What happened to flat caps, like flat brim caps? Honestly, this is another like little staple piece. Uh, you know, if if you're looking for a five panel, I would, and you feel, don't feel like waiting for another week, eh, go ahead and buy it. I uh, I don't see reselling any of these. Maybe, maybe the cream color, maybe cream. That's about it. Depends on if it has a red box logo or cream one, I guess. But yeah, just another simple item that I always have. Next, we have a Revolzi hooded sweatshirt. This is probably my favorite piece of this week. I personally like this one a lot. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to buy it because I heard retail is $198. And that's a lot of money for a sweatshirt. Depending on the material that has been used. And whether it's a heavier or a lighter sweatshirt. I don't know. The newer Supreme sweatshirts are pretty thin. All of a sudden I don't know what's happening. Whether they switched um clothing distributors or what they're doing with testing new fabrics but their newer ones have been a lot thinner and they're definitely not worth the yeah 198 dollar retail that it, that it is so next we have the studded long long sleeve top um 
Yeah, no, this one's pretty trash in my opinion. Would not buy, but this was probably the $98 retail. Yeah, $88 was enough. Um, next we have the Stars Crew Neck. I thought this was a Spirit jersey. Either way, this one's not terrible. I would, I do wish they had like a little bit of branding on the front. All the stars have like the, I want to say it's the years that each Supreme store opened, but I could be wrong. I do not know. Let's see how much. 138, not too bad of a price. I mean, that's average for a crew neck from Supreme, so. Next, we have the Supreme Team Puffy Jacket. Um. I mean, it's cool, but we're getting closer to the summer, so I don't know how many people are going to buy a puffy jacket. Um, if I were you, I'd probably go for either black or gold. Probably black is the safest bet for resale and whatnot. So, uh, next we have a these sweatpants. These are cool. I like them. I don't see myself buying them because Supreme Pants fit like dog trash. Uh, get away from me, advertisements. I hate you. Um... Yeah, I, I do see reselling these to an extent. I don't see them going for Mugo Bucks, but they might. Next, we have the track pants. These are just classic Supreme track pants. They got a plaid design this year. Not terrible. Um, definitely not something I waste my money on. Uh, next, we have loose fit jeans. Again, something simple that why waste your money on these? You could go buy a pair of Wranglers from Walmart for 25 bucks, and it's probably the same quality pair of jeans. Next, we have the track half zip pullover. This one's cool. It matches the pants. Uh, personally, I think black is probably the best colorway. Simple, classic. You can't really go wrong. It matches everything. Um, half zips do pretty pretty okay with resell. I'm not sure. Just we'll have to wait and see. But so next, we have the Supreme Team six panel snapback. I want to say it's snapback. I can't tell. Um, kind of weak. Not, not a fan. And then we have the Supreme Suede Coat. Uh, what are you, a fucking cowboy? Like, what is this? Well, that's everything. Happy 420, because that's what time it is. Um, things I would highlight this week would be the Ramalzi t-shirts. Maybe the, uh, the mesh hooded long sleeve baseball jersey. And, um... Yeah, that's about it. Maybe, maybe the Ramalzi sweatshirt, or maybe the uh, catcher's but catcher protector. Uh, but other than that, I can't see too much else for resale and whatnot. So let me know in the comments below what you guys are going for this week. Let me know what you guys thought about this drop list. Let me know if you guys want me to do more. Hit that like button. Remember to subscribe. And once I get to 100, I'm still doing that giveaway. I know I haven't been promoting it, but I'm still going to do that giveaway of a either Supreme T-shirt, a Palace T-shirt, or a minimal gift card. All values are about $50. So, yeah, I guess. Let me know what you guys want. And uh, let me know if you guys want me to do some Palace videos because I can do those too. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.